welcome Canada to Molson Stadium on the McGill campus. Sun splash day. Damon Duvall with the boot. Marquay McDaniel at his 20. Oh. This week with Watkins and Perrin. Calvillo unloads and it's a deep ball and it is caught. Ryan Bratton into Hamilton territory. Second down and goal. The first and throw in and it is a touchdown. Mike Giffen, the former Queens University star with his first of the season. Pump fake, looking for Dryson James, hauls it in. You know, didn't say anything about Porter's character, just a little better connection with Gunn. Connecting with Bruce, touchdown. Kevin Glenn to Arlan Bruce. Case and point. Calvillo looks middle, and there's Richardson. Dodges one, Jamel Richardson to the 40, to the 30, and brought down finally by Joaquin Bradley. Jamel Richardson, the fantastic job after the catch here. Calvillo, touchdown, Kerry <laughs> Watkins. That was a laser beam. The Hamilton Tiger Cats need to score on this possession. Well, they're going to be in trouble. There's the rush. Arlan Bruce behind cover. Makes a great catch. The guy who they need to be their playmaker is making plays today. Number four, Arlan Bruce. It will be his ball. Goes ahead, and there it is. That was the longest delay on a quarterback sneak for a touchdown, but it is a touchdown. Far side, and wrapped up by Chip Cox, and a fumble! Gerald Brown has it! Trying to chase him down, will they get him? Yes! You talk about a big play! How about that? Now first and goal for the Alouettes. Coburn leaps in, the touchdown. CFL touchdown leader, Avon Colburn, his 14th major score of the season. Double play. Calvillo stands in, a little lob toss to Kerry Watkins. Dodgers one, reverses field, finally brought down near the 15. Kerry Watkins isn't a big guy, but he sure wins more battles than he loses over there. Looking for Cahoon, he has it, touchdown! AC to BC. Another TD. Over the middle again and wide open is Stella. Dave Stella sprinting down near the 30-yard line. And somebody blew some coverage there because Dave Stella was all by his lonesome. Glenn over the middle and dropped. Mark Cray McDaniel. And Chip Cox continues to be McDaniel's nemesis in this ballgame. Field goal attempt for Nick Sata. Only 70% this season, but this one is good. Anthony Calvillo is still on the sideline. And here comes Adrian McPherson. Looks like it will be Adrian McPherson's game. To win or lose here today for the Montreal Alouette. Had some playing time earlier this year. McPherson going deeper this time. Watkins is open. Inside the 20. And when you're around this Montreal offense, Rodriguez out with injury, so the Cats look to Mark Lee McDaniel and Bryson James. Far side, and it's Arlan Bruce. That's where he's going, and Arlan Bruce, for all the catches that he's made today, that is one he should have had, and he knows it. Make it a 10 point lead for Montreal. Pump fake, and Cobb has it, and DeAndre Cobb tripped up. Otherwise, he was gone. What a play there. Behind center, looking for a quick one to the end zone, and it's a touchdown. McDaniel atones for his earlier miscue. Game on. Game on indeed. Not look that serious, but he's not back in the game. McPherson going to the end zone, and... 
down. Jamel Richardson again. With a potential playoff matchup with these Alouettes down the road. End zone, touchdown! Don't go anywhere. Marque McDaniel has his second of the game, and there's 41 seconds to go. The point after, onside kick, and you never know here. Now the biggest play of the game for Hamilton. An onside kick, the ball's up. Hamilton has it, but it does not look like it went 10 yards. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers are loving this result. Montreal, dominant all season, hangs on to beat Hamilton 41-38.